Howdy folks, in this little box we have the Sky Shadow S800 wing from Banggood. A lot of people have reviewed this little wing um, and it seems to be my turn now. So that's great because it looks like an awesome, awesome little FPV wing. This is the version that comes with all the electronics included. Um, and some people have said the electronics aren't very good. So uh, it'll be my turn to find out is to see if they've improved anything since those reviews. So let's just have a look at it. Some nice red decals. Here's the, the little wing. First off, if we look at the foam, it is really nice, good looking black, smooth quality foam. Looks really good straight out of the box. And another good thing about this wing is that it has cutouts everywhere for all the electronics already thought out very nicely indeed. It has a decent equipment bay there and space for a GoPro style camera and an FPV camera in the nose um, which is a very clever idea and it actually needs the GoPro weight there to uh, get the CG in the right spot so we can deal with that. Now we have some servos, a little little uh, racy motor 2300 kV 2205, a little FPV camera which I hear is not very good quality. That's all right, I have plenty of other cameras to try, so we'll give it a go anyway, see how it goes. Lots and lots of props, which is nice. Spars, cover, a few sheets of instruction manual here, so I'll have to read through them and see what I can do. And more electronics in this package here too. Now it has a stabilizer, has stabilizer circuitry. There it is there. Little uh, video transmitter, that's good to have. ESC that is pretty poor quality, so I've heard. I will test that out. And a few other bits and pieces as well. Very good. I thought what I'd do is I would just build it as a wing uh, with none of the fancy electronics like stabilisation or, or uh, even FPV to start off with. I'd just fly it, see how it goes, and then I'll try the other supplied electronics to see how that goes. Now the first step is to cut off all these uh, mould sort of entry points or whatever they are. Anything with that sort of round um, pattern there needs to be cut off. You'll see one on the side of the body, one on each wing. Break them off basically and then clean it up with a sharp knife. Best to do it with a knife, or otherwise you'll sort of tear chunks out. There we go. That is a hot looking little wing. So we've got some aileron reinforcing spars. They'll get glued in on each aileron. Main wing spar. We also have these spar caps too that need to be cut off. There's a, a longer one there and a shorter one at that end. They can just be cut away from the moulding point and that will cover up the longer spar that will cover up the shorter spar I'm gonna just roughen up every little part that's going to be glued and then I'm going to use some Yoohoo pour to glue the spars in ooh this stuff smells So there's the aileron spar and the wing spar glued in. Put them aside to cure overnight, I think. And attack the other one. Now I've sanded up all these surfaces as well, so I'm just going to yoohoo pour them up. Coat both surfaces. Put them aside to dry for a little while. They're pretty dry, I can bring them together now. I 
Very nice. Looking at the motor mount setup, uh, I'm not impressed with the design at all. What we've been supplied with is a, a plywood insert uh, and a little sort of reinforcing bit at the back that gets glued on there. This just fell apart in my hand. Then there's a carbon fibre plate which I guess the motor uh, bolts onto from behind. I have seen in some designs it comes with little aluminium standoffs. My kit didn't come with that provision so I guess we're expected just to bolt the motor onto this carbon fibre plate and then glue that onto the uh, plywood insert there. Uh, I just don't like that idea. Once you glue it in you won't be able to get it off. You'll have to sort of tear it apart. Um, so I'm going to throw that away, make up my own uh, plywood insert there and I'm just going to use the conventional um, cross sort of setup. Screw that onto the plywood there. That's a tried and true method in my book and it means that I can pull the motor off if I have to as well. Now also looking at the ESC, uh, this is an opto so it doesn't have a built-in BEC, 30 amp. It's an absolutely tiny, tiny ESC for 30 amps and it means that I will have to use the stabiliser with the little uh, BEC 5 volt uh, power supply that you have to solder onto here which I'm reluctant to use anyway so the other thing I'm going to do is just use my own ESC. Now I'm going to put it all together. I've decided I'm just going to glue it all together. Um, it's small enough that I'll never have to take it apart again anyway. Um, so, lashings of Yoohoo Paw, both surfaces, and I have sanded all these surfaces up so they're nice and rough and free of uh, mould release. Make sure both surfaces are nicely coated. Let it dry a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, so I've glued those wing caps in. Now the other ones. Let's make sure they go the right way around. Solid as. So the supplied servos just slot into their little cutouts on the top of the wing to work out where the control horns go. I'm just running a parallel line, parallel with the mounting of the servo, go out to where the control horn will be and then we just cut a little slot in the front just behind the hinge right there. Little hole there and then the control horn will just push through and attach on the other side with a little connector. Not ideal, but that's what they've given us. That's no, going to be okay. I'll strengthen that a little bit with a bit of glue, I think. Hinges are fairly stiff. Might need a bit of working out, I think. I had to drill out the uh, servo arm holes to one and a half millimeters to fit the push rod and we have to drill out the control horn to two millimeters to fit the uh, linkage adjuster screw. Now that all fits. There we go. So needs a little bit of up trim. Say something like that. Let's give it a wiggle. 
threading the servo lead through. There we go. These servo leads are long enough to go around here and around here and into the bay, so that's good. Don't need to reroute them like iForce 2D did, I think. A little blob of glue doesn't need much. May well have to uh, replace these servos at some stage, so I minor amount of glue to glue them in. Let that dry up a bit now. Now I need to clip this down a fair bit. That should be ready to go in now. <coughs> Servo in. And a bit of nice tough tape over it, just to be sure. I have my own 30 amp ESC here with a BEC built in and I've um, soldered the motor directly to it so we haven't got too many wires hanging out everywhere. Uh, this will almost fit in that gap, I just need to cut it down a little bit further so it will actually fit in. Just need to cut out these sides a little bit and that carbon fibre cover will still go on. There we go, that fits in nicely. Well, that'll be okay. I'll still put that on anyway. That's good, I like that. So now I can fit the motor on. So I'm just using 9 gram servo screws, mounting screws, to mount the motor. That will be very secure. So there's my mounting solution for the motor and a different ESC, proper 30 amp ESC with a BEC. Connect him up, get the prop rotating in the correct direction. Channels are reverse, elevators right, ailerons are working the wrong direction. We have a choice of clockwise and counterclockwise props, so it's rotating that way. Ah, it's a reverse. Cool, that's going the right way. Put the GoPro in. Where's the CG, I wonder? CG 125, back from the front. Cool, we're ready to go. There we have it, all ready for a maiden. I don't have the FPV gear or the stabiliser in it at the moment. I'm just going to fly it as a pure wing just to see how it flies. And in the next video, I'll set up the stabiliser and the FPV. I do have a GoPro and the FPV camera is just sitting there. Um, I can still get some onboard footage from the GoPro, but that's just to get the weight right. CG balances just on the back of those two skids, which it does, with a 3S2200 LiPo in there, so we're ready to go.